In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feasts, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no ghosts out of your field. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forests, beasts by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you. For mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Father willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. 
They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The, ne the demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine. And the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swineherds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes it is hard to know if we're doing what God wants. Sometimes it does feel like we have no idea what we're doing. Uh, is this what God wants? Is this not what God wants? Is this right? Is this wrong? I don't know, we might say. I'm just trying to live my life the best I can. In the scriptures, uh, we see that God has a plan and that his people are more or less uh, trying to do the best that they can. They're trying to, to do what they know to be right and true. But it doesn't always line up with what God has in mind. But, you know, God's response, as we see time and again in Scripture, is not to condemn them. His response is to be patient and to work with what he's been given. We can take, for example, here the Gentiles who begged Jesus to leave their district. Now, that wasn't quite the response that, you know, Jesus was hoping for, but he accepted it and Jesus went away. But, you know, he came back later. He came back later after the resurrection, after the ascension and Pentecost. He came back later through the ministry of Saints Paul and Peter and all the apostles. And the Gentiles came to know and to accept Jesus. God's plan was fulfilled. It just took a little bit longer. But it happened, nonetheless, because God is patient. He has a plan, but God takes our own personal decisions in stride. God is interested in the, uh, the long-range vision. And he's patient with his people uh, to help them, help them get them there. You know, like any good teacher, the Lord accepts us uh, where we are, and he walks with us, just like on the road to Emmaus. He walks with us one step at a time, with patience, with mercy, and also with inspiration. Sometimes, you know, it can be hard to know if we're doing uh, what God wants. But really, all God asks is that we do the best we can, and that's all. Because ultimately, of course, it's not up to us. We do the best we can, and the rest we leave in the hands of God, who is eternally patient and wise. You know, if he can turn death into life, certainly he can transform our sometimes wandering ways into something wonderful. Once again, we offer our prayers, our needs, and the needs of the world to the Lord. We pray for Catholics everywhere that the Holy Spirit will inspire us to appreciate beauty, to respect authority, and to keep Christ as the center of our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the health and the peace of our country in these times for which we offer this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and religious life from our parish and our diocese. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are poor in spirit and in material goods, that God will help them to people in places that can offer a helping hand. Let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers that are written in our parish books of prayer, for the monthly intentions of Pope Francis and Bishop Brickin, and for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts this day. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all the faithful, that they may come to see God face to face and enjoy the glories and the praises of God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you with these prayers spoken, all the prayers that we hold in our hearts. We ask you to receive them and in your kindness and mercy to answer them as always according to your goodwill. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
at the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.